Hello everybody and welcome again to Sherry Approve. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. You know, let's change it and switch it up a little bit. But today's video is going to be the what's in my handbag video. <laughs> like my bag is so big it could block me out. Literally. So this bag which my sister calls my suitcase she says it's not really a handbag because of the size of it and i'm holding it right now and i have no idea how i tow this around every day because i swear this bag is weighing like 25 pounds oh my god 25 pounds but yeah it was giving me practice for holding the baby now but anyways so this bag is a kate spade tote it actually has this crock finish um it is this beautiful burgundy wine color and i have had this bag for it could be more than four years it could, well i mean it's definitely more than four years it could be way longer than that i just can't remember how long now i have it it still looks like an impeccable condition and that's really good compared to the amount of licks this bag gets now i went back to work after my maternity leave um at the end of june and this has been the only bag that i've used i have many bags but this is the only bag that i've used since then simply because burgundy for me is like nude like you know how a lot of people have a lot of nude shoes a lot of black shoes like burgundy i have a lot of burgundy shoes in all different styles and whatever i love it and for me it's a neutral it goes with a lot of things that i wear so this bag is definitely a staple and frankly i really don't care whether it match or not it has everything and i've just been too tired to change it so let's see what's in my bag um in fact every time i post a picture where i have this bag as part of my look people always message to ask like where they can get it it's not available anymore it's that old um and i actually got it on sale the original price of this bag is around 648 us dollars and of course i did not pay that um i think i paid around 130 us for it so that was a steal of a deal and for how long it lasts excellent i always tell people the bags that you're going to be using all the time and your shoes especially your work shoes are the shoes to invest in and spend good money make sure that you get something very very good so let's get into what's in my handbag right so we're going to clean it together so the first thing i have in here is this this is like a little um tripod I can't remember if I purchased this on its own or with something like I bought. I'm always buying things for doing videos, lighting, that kind of thing. So I realized that this one was portable. It holds my phone perfectly. So I always have this so that I could set it on a table or my, my desk at work, wherever I am, in case I want to film a video, right? Um, then I have my keys for the office. And this one is pretty interesting. Like, I love this. Let me hide all these keys here. But this actually um from my recent trip to costa rica um it has all these beautiful little charms in it um so there's a butterfly and this little monkey these things are like a characteristic of a very natural country and i fell in love with this keychain at the airport when i was leaving so i actually picked it up so that's like relatively new like what two months old in my bag next in my bag it's a little gadget for taking photos when you don't have a photo take out her. I hardly use it. I need to use it more. But basically, it pairs with your Bluetooth and this has connections for whether your phone is Android or iPhone. So once you pair it with your Bluetooth, you set up your phone where you want, it, you know, where you want it to be to do a video or a photo and you just press and it will record or it will take the photo for you. So this is actually pretty, pretty handy. I got that on Amazon as usual as usual what else i have my pass to enter the building at work i have a ton of pens um so i have a black pen here but then i have these colored pens and i always have colored pens in my bag because in my planner which is not in my bag right now i tend to work with it sometimes in my hand in my planner i color code things because i'm involved in so many things so for example sherry approved stuff will be in one color um stuff that i do in terms of marriage issues with my husband uh, marriage council marriage conferences that kind of thing i have that in the next color then i have my work stuff in another color so i color code a lot of things in my planner so that i could very easily um see those things then i have oh, i can't see this i'm gonna fix this to make it look a little decent here I have my comb and my brush i think i mentioned this in my, oh yeah my video where i did the like field muff how long i have these these things are actually older than i am i got them from my dad um yeah. then i have one of these i always have one 
the one. I always have one of these in my bag. This is the Vicks Vapor Ups Cough Relief, the mental flavor. Um, especially when the Sahara dust is around and the throat gets so itchy. Just in general, for my throat, sometimes if it's itchy, I always like to have this. Um, yeah, in my bag. So I, I've always walked around with one of those like for a few years now. Then I have in my bag the this is the the Puma case from one of my glasses that I wear. So I always have this in my bag and in it will be my thing to clean my glasses as well as how you call these things what do you call this yeah a lens cleaner and i get my glasses from ferrer optical so that's why it's branded there so i usually have that in the case so i can find it very easily in my bag um what else my phone i have a samsung s10 um all my igtv videos are done with that so that's very important as and i'm on my phone i'm seeing this here so you all remember this this was in an amazon favorites video i this this is my portable battery backup by anchor um, i have this also a few years excellent quality lasts really really long and i used to have it with the black cable that came with it but that's when i had my previous samsung phone but the samsung s10 uses a different um different type of cable so i simply just bought a new cable so that i could use my same battery backup with my phone this one is really really long so if i need to use you know lengthen it i can but yeah um so my battery backup is always with me i i always make sure that it is it's well not necessarily fully charged but it has at least two bars or more so that um because i use a lot of power next is my wallet i'm not going to open the wallet for you to see inside it because yeah things might fall out but yeah this has all my cards and stuff but guys this wallet is about 14 to 15 years old this is my fossil I have been trying to convince myself every single year when I see sales and stuff to buy a new wallet and my sister will always be like, Sherry, anything wrong with your wallet? And I'll be like, no, you don't need a new one. You really don't need a new one. So I have not changed my wallet in that long. And I mean, it might just look a little, I don't know, discolored, but the leather and stuff on this, the zippers, everything is perfectly fine. So yeah, I person with my little 14 year old wallet, what is all the problem? <laughs> okay the next thing in here is a travel umbrella and this is actually a uv coated umbrella now i'm not going to open this but especially if i'm going outdoors um in peak sundown periods like especially at lunchtime like between the hours of let's say 11 11 30 and 4 p.m um i will probably go out with my umbrella if the sun is really hot it gives me additional sun protection and this coating at the back here is the uv coating so it's not just for rain but this also protects me from the sun and then i'm gonna show you all this real fast but that's all you're seeing but that is the spf powder that i'm using to reapply spf to my skin i'm testing that product right now next is my headphones and like i have one of these everywhere i have one of these in my room i have one of these in hadassah's room i have one in hadassah's crib i have um yes at the side of her crib actually i have um some some of my stuff that's always there so one that is there i have one at the office and one is always in my handbag so i have my headphones in case you know i want to listen to a video or something um hey huh, boy this bag have a real jam in it okay then i have this it it kind of matches with my bag um but this is actually a coin purse or card no this is not a coin purse this is a card business card holder from Anne Klein and I also have this like for a few years now so all my business cards is in here and I always keep some backup money at the back of this as well so here now I don't know if this ever happened to anybody but years ago when I was working in uptown Port of Spain um that's before we were driving and stuff this is like really years ago more than 15 years ago i would travel from uptown port of spain to come to downtown port of spain to meet my husband at the time he would have been my fiance because he would be driving so i i would finish work before him so i would travel come down to town to meet him one day i jumped in to a taxi at st james taxi heading to port of spain when i'm almost reaching to frederick street and open my bag to pay the man realize I have no money i'm digging up in my bag can't find my wallet it was because the porn lady had passed during the day i took up my wallet to buy porn leave my wallet on the desk and talk about shame when the lady sitting next to me realized oh my god like this girl started to panic because i literally said this what i have never like done that before and i didn't want the driver to think that you know i was just 
like coasting on them or trying to get a free drop. I really wasn't. I really didn't realize that I left my wallet. And worked to the lady was like, honey, don't worry. This happened to me before. I totally understand how you feel. And she paid the fare for me. Listen to me. I was so grateful, but I was so embarrassed. Since that day, in every nook and cranny of every handbag, I always put in a $20 or $40 something. I don't want that happened to me again at all. So my wallet is not there. Yeah, there's money stuck in every <laughs> in every little compartment inside here. So this bag actually has like several pockets and so on. So in every one of those pockets, there is something. Um, then I have, I always have packs of these. This is Stevia in the row. Once I have the control over sugar in my diet, I don't use sugar. I'm probably once in a while to make stewed chicken or if I'm actually having a dessert outside that was prepared and they probably prepared with sugar or something that was store bought but in general my tea my coffee um because I hardly use sugar anyways it's always stevia I have been using stevia for years it was one of the ways I was able to cut and reduce sugar in my diet so I, I always have some of that in every handbag yeah and we're going down I have two lotions I have not seen this one in a a few weeks let's just say that and this one smells really good i've been using this more often because i also have a lotion on my desk at the office i have a powder brush because since i've been using the sonia kashuk one at home i took this one that I, you all would have seen me long long time i have this one in my bag so i'll usually wash it and clean it um and just put it back in there then i have this oh my god y'all i have fallen in love with this the glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist like the mist on this is perfection oh well, you see that is like time really slow motion perfect and the smell is amazing it's made the whole office smell like literally fresh watermelon juice i have fallen in love with this i'm using this a lot and i like to use this especially if i repowder when i apply the spf powder i don't want my face to look cakey or anything like that that's you know so i will miss this to just melt everything in give yourself a little extra hydration then i have these and they really shouldn't be in these packs because yeah i have a pill case they're probably in the next handbag right now. But yeah, I always walk around with Panadine. And that's, you know, for that time of the month, menstrual pain or if you have a random headache. And this one actually has my vitamin. So just in case I forgot to take my vitamin the night before, because I usually take my vitamins at night. It's in my handbag if I suddenly remember. Oh, yeah, I have it. I can do it. And then you're probably wondering, like, how come I didn't get into this? I am not opening this. I did a post on this, but this is my makeup bag. And this one, like, I have several, but this one has been in my bag ever since I got it for Mother's Day. My cousin um, did this for me, and it's a happy first Mother's Day, Sherry. So very, very sentimental. It's denim, and inside here has all my drama, all my drama in terms of all the makeup that I carry around. Like, this is probably the only thing that gets cleaned in this bag very regularly. Yeah. I don't know what to say about this don't judge me but for those of you who follow me you all know i love pop corners i don't know how long this particular pack has been open but yeah that's a jumbo pack like if i feel for it um i'll just take a few a few chips and chomp on that i really really love that snack and let's see this is like very very random but these are some diet drops like don't try to screenshot this or anything like that look for it I always start on some new supplement and then fall in love the bandwagon. But yeah, these are supposed to like boost your metabolism, reduce appetite, increase fat burning. The struggle is real. I think that's it. Besides that, oh. All right. So this is a lip gloss I got in Ipsy. It was supposed to go into the makeup bag. In fact, let me do that right now. So that I will actually use it. But I ended up throwing it in the bag. So it's all the way to the bottom. Besides that, I have a bunch of bills. Tissue. Empty bags. A huge empty black bag. Like, Okay, this doesn't look really good on me right now. More pens. And this is my Sherry approved pen. <laughs> more stevia yeah but guys that's oh no 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 you see why i must look in every compartment check in here and okay 
in this compartment in my bag is where I would carry these things, you know, an extra pansy shield or an extra pad. So I have that there. Let me put that back around one time before I forget. And then in this other little pocket, I have one of these. It's a Milky Way minis. Like anybody, you still have these things. I don't know how long I may have had this, but this is just in case sometimes like my blood sugar. This is random, but not something that happen very, very often. And just in case it falls low or I need to get that, you know, I would probably have this, but again, can't remember when last I did that. Can't remember last time. And another pair of keys for something else. And that's it. The rest of stuff inside here is just all the little money changes that I tell you all I have in um, the different compartments. But yeah, that's what's in my handbag. And thank you guys for staying all the way to the end of this video because I have a little giveaway. So here's how you can enter. There will be a post both on Instagram and on Facebook as usual announcing this video. You need to just comment below that post and say enter me and you will be entered and the date that the competition or closes for entries will be posted on the screen. So good luck to everybody and just in case you're wondering what it is, it's a set of wet and wild liquid lipsticks in some very interesting colors. For those of you who are, you know, a little bit more adventurous, whether you want to wear it on your lips or use them in eye looks or face art or whatever you have that and then there are these two um this is a wet and wild in fact let me take it out and show you this is a wet and wild rainbow highlighter this is actually really 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 pretty and this one is a pigment one of their loose pigments i don't know if you could see that but it's absolutely stunning and the name of this is gilded crown and this is limited edition and i was saving it to be able to give to somebody in this giveaway so yeah and you're gonna get this little pouch so good luck to everybody um and stay tuned because we have some very lovely giveaways coming up at the end of the year you want to stay tuned to all my social media channels guys what's in your handbag let's have a chat no judgment no judgment i'll see you guys in another video bye